While UA's Precision Mastering Series plugins were developed primarily for mastering, they can be very useful inside your mix. I'm going to demonstrate the Precision Multiband Compressor, the Precision EQ, the Precision Limiter, and the Precision Maximizer, all used on individual instruments. Now keep in mind I might get a little extreme with the settings just to demonstrate their sound. Starting off with the Precision Multiband Compressor on this drum kit, I want to create a compressed effect on the snare. First I'm going to solo one of the bands to try to isolate the snare as best I can. Now I'm going to adjust the ratio and threshold controls to start compressing the snare. I want to really compress the snare and get a pumping compression sound, so I'll choose a very fast attack and pretty fast release. Now this band needs some gain since it is being compressed so much. Now we'll back down the mix control to get it to blend a little better. Now let's hear how it sounds in minimum phase mode. I prefer the tightness of linear phase mode. I'm using the Precision Maximizer on this synth bus. I'm going to start by turning the shape all the way up and then lower the output gain to match the unprocessed signal. Now I'm going to turn down the output gain and crank up the input gain to get some distortion. Since this is pretty distorted, I'm going to roll back the mix control and the shape as well. On this pre-mixed drum loop, I want to increase the low and high frequencies, but there are a couple of challenges. A low rumble coming from an ungated floor tom, 
in a harsh sounding snare due to the fact that the bottom mic was mixed too loud. I set up a low shelf at 96 Hz to boost the low frequencies. Then a parametric EQ with a tight Q to lower the mid rumble of the tom. I then set up another mid-range band at 4.5 kHz with a tight Q to remove a bit of the harshness of the snare. And finally a high shelf to boost the upper high frequencies. The precision limiter can be used to transparently brick wall limit a snare track for example, but it can also provide some interesting compression effects. By turning down the output gain and turning up the input gain, I can achieve almost 19 dB of compression. Adjusting the release time yields other effects, as well as toggling the mode button. 